Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with Dark Gadgets. So we're installing the iOS 8 beta. Now this was just released today, and we're gonna go ahead and do it. It's pretty simple, so just uh, follow the instructions and you'll be good. First thing you wanna do is update iTunes to the latest version. You can do so by going to the Mac App Store and just checking to see if you have any updates and update iTunes. The second thing you wanna do is actually just back up your phone right now. Nothing might happen, but there's always a possibility that something could go wrong and you do not want to lose your contacts, your data, your apps, or anything like that. So back up to iCloud or to this computer or to your computer or back up to both just to be safe. Now, the third thing that we do want to do is actually download the firmware file for your device. Now you actually want to see what device you have. So if you have the iPhone 5C GSM model, you want to download these firmware files. If you have the iPhone 5S GSM models, you want to download these, etc., etc. Now I have the, the iPhone 5S GSM, so those are the ones I pre-downloaded right before here from the Apple Developer Center, and it took about five minutes to download. Now before you go any further, you actually want to make sure that your UDID is registered. Now to find your UDID, you want to go to iTunes and you actually want to option click on your serial number. And this will show you a long string of numbers and letters, and that is what you want to copy and paste and have someone register for you. Now to copy it, you hold down control and then you click copy and you have that copied. And you wanna get that registered because if not and you try to install the beta, you might get your device uh, bricked and that would really suck. So the next thing you wanna do is actually just go ahead and install the iOS 8 beta. Now make sure you backed up because there is no turning back after this point. Uh, so you wanna actually hold down option, check for update and uh, let's choose uh, that real quick and it will verify the update with Apple. We're gonna click update, and here it goes, it's updating. If you would have done restore, it would have actually asked you to turn off the iCloud um, Find My iPhone, and I wasn't gonna to try to turn it off right now, but you can also restore and do a fresh, clean update on your phone. But we're gonna let this run through. Again, the download for this took it about five minutes, but that's directly from Apple, so that may vary if you're downloading it from a different source. And yeah, it's gonna go through the whole process right now and update it to iOS 8. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and I just got this message saying that my iPhone has been updated and it is now restarting. Now through the whole process, you don't wanna disconnect your phone or quit iTunes, or for that matter, just don't touch anything on the computer just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. All right, now about another 15 minutes later, the phone has actually booted up and it was actually on a white screen for some time and I was waiting and it finally worked. So don't get scared if that happens to you. But iTunes is also now frozen, which is odd. And uh, this is not, okay, there we go. So update completed, your iPhone was updated successfully. There are just a few more steps and then you're done. So let's continue here. So uh, iTunes, okay, there we go. It finally worked, so I, I just clicked it a bunch of times. So you gotta be patient with it. I gotta put my iCloud password here. And there we go, so it's updating with the iCloud settings. iTunes is still frozen, and uh, we'll see if that goes unfrozen. Hopefully we're not gonna need it for the rest of the iOS 8 update. But uh, it's better safe than being sorry, so just leave it plugged in. Prefer not to plug it out and then have any problems with it. All right, so there we go. iTunes has finally recognized it or unfroze. And uh, it says I'm running iOS 8, so that's awesome. Those are good signs, I will, Use find my iPhone, yes. Uh, select iMessage and FaceTime, no, yes, yes, no. All right, so now it's prompting us to set up iCloud uh, Keychain. So let's get started here. All right, so there we go. This is iOS 8 and it finally installed. It took about 30 minutes. Now, the thing is that it doesn't look different to iOS 7. So you can't really tell this is iOS 8 and no one will be able to tell this is iOS 8. You can drag down and you can see the edit button for the widgets and uh, you can even go to the explore tab right here. And it's gonna be those little things that, you know, you can tell the difference between iOS 7 and iOS 8. And uh, there's just a bunch of new features like that. They didn't change the overall software, they just added a bunch of new features that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. But yeah, if you have any questions about the process or if you need any help with anything, feel free to message me and I'll contact you back as soon as I can. Other than that, um, Follow me on Twitter at Dark Gadgets and subscribe to this channel for more videos on this. I will go through iOS 8 after I've played with it for a while and uh, show it to you guys. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.